this is the fifth collaboration between Resonance Records and the estate of Bill Evans who participates in all the productions that we put out. This release is also very important because it marks only the fourth release to come out with this very special short-lived rhythm section consisting of legendary bassist Eddie Gomez and drum icon Jack DeJanette. Jack made a number of recordings over the years. These recordings were nestled in his tape collection. I was recording it with an old a hip recorder and right. I stuck the phone in the piano near Eddie's bass, he recorded the piano bass and the drums leaked in. Bill was really, you know, st stretching. I remember sitting in Jack's basement and we heard this music. It's revelatory, it's important music, and it comes at a very short-lived chapter in this trio's recorded output. I'm glad you captured those uh, recordings. How, how long was the uh, Ronnie Scott's engagement? It was a month. Wow. So that's, that's why the playing is so good, you know. You're in one place, that's like the five spot. It gives a chance for the group to develop, you know, and get used to the sound in the room, feel comfortable to experiment, take chances. Uh, a special four weeks. We really got into it. Everyone was in a good form. We, For me, I've always liked live recordings. This was four weeks, which is highly unusual. It's hard to believe, actually, that it's all of 52 years ago, but I was present for one of the evenings of Bill Evans's four-week stint at Ronnie Scott's. When Bill Evans came over in 1965, Ronnie Scott's was still at its original location. This was quite a small room, and indeed, until Bill Evans's visit, they hadn't even found room for a grand piano, but they decided that uh, as he was the first all-American group that they ought to uh, make efforts to get a grand piano, which they did just in time for his arrival on the first night. Ronnie Scott's is particularly special because the whole setup there is really comfortable. The stage, ample room, the audiences were great. It was a great place to play. The piano was good. I think Bill's needs instrumentally were taken care of. As a bass player, uh, he's a, a complete freak. He plays the bass like a flute, like in terms of his ability to play melodic lines. And the the, um, the offerings that Eddie has made on recordings that he did with me, it's like poetic. It was great having Jack in the trio because he had added a particular fresh kind of energy that was good for the trio, it was good for Bill. Jack brought a lot of good points to the trio the energy he was very open about how to address the pulse how to play the time with the trio i don't know that we ever heard the kinds of chords that he played uh, before he did and that he was able to move so quickly on the piano from one set of chords to another set while he improvised them. It was remarkable and, and it was just pretty, beautiful, and yet very complex. I would call him and say, Bill, and he'd go, hi, Chammy. <laughs> like, I can't get, the voice is sort of like that. Hi, Chammy. Hey, listen to this, man. And I'd play a couple of little things that sound a little like him. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's <just> pretty good. <laughs> I thought I was the best guy and the best pianist in the world, you know, I, but all I got was a couple of chords there. And, yeah, that's pretty good. But he was very sweet, I mean, very nice. And uh, I think he was funny too, because when he said that's pretty good, he was being funny. <laughs> the cover is graced by the iconic album designer and commercial artist, David Stone Martin. He encapsulates so much inspiration in his work. You may be familiar with him because his work has graced the covers of Verve, Clef, Norgran, Mercury albums of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. By picking up this release, you're getting a piece of art with your recording. It's literally something that could be in a frame inside your home on the wall.
just want to thank the estate of Bill Evans for believing in Resonance Records and partnering with us on this production. It's just such a heartfelt sort of feeling um, to, to have the privilege to be able to work with such an important musician's family. And we take this work very seriously. I want to thank Jack and Lydia DeJeanette again for all their generosity and having me in their home and believing in us and working with us on this production.